chat. Now we are on to the fucking segment of today's King stream. We're doing a would you rather today. Now, Brady actually made me a website for this so you guys can vote for what you want. And we can see what I'll vote and what you guys vote, all, uh, obviously. And we'll see what chat leans towards and what I lean towards. Uh, based on whether or not you type one or two, that is what you guys vote for. And then whatever I vote for, I'll obviously click. Uh, now, you guys submitted these Would You Rathers through my Discord. We have like a thousand submissions. I think we're going to be reviewing like the best 50 or 60 or something. I think Floating compiled. Uh, I think 50, 50 to 60 of them. W Floating as well. Floating and Brady, thank you guys for helping me with this. We're going to be going through these. Some of them I'm probably going to yap about for a while. Some of them are probably going to be easy choices. If you type it more than once, it doesn't change it. Your your vote only works once per per question. So don't spam, please. It's, it's not going to up the vote. You could obviously see that there's 4,000 people in stream. If you type, your vote will go up. Uh, and, that's, and you might be able to change it. I don't know. It looks like you might be able to change your vote. But if you spam, it's not going to do anything. Anyways, first would you rather question. Would you rather have to always speak in riddles or have to communicate through interpretive dance? Communicate means any form of communication. So not even verbal. Like not even, not even just my verbal communication is now interpretive dance. But any communication, like if I want to wave at somebody, I have to interpretively dance that I'm saying hello to them. Uh, I would rather speak in riddles because having to communicate through interpretive dance seems like hell. Uh, would you rather be able to communicate with all forms of life from the smallest microbe to the largest mammal, but lose the ability to communicate with humans? Or would I rather be able to understand every human language perfectly, but be able to, but lose the ability to connect emotionally with others? So I can talk to everything that lives, but I can't talk to humans. Or I can talk to humans perfectly, but I lose the ability, I can talk to any human, but I lose the ability to connect emotionally with others. Both of these suck. Because in both scenarios, you're losing something with human connection. In the left scenario, the blue, I'm unable to talk to humans in any way, shape, or form. And in the right scenario, I can talk to every human, but I can't emotionally collect, connect with any human. That really sucks. This is a really hard one. I would still want to be able to communicate with humans, but what's the point of communicating with humans if I lose the capability to connect emotionally with anyone? Emotionally on any level, like even friendship. Like I'm like, I'm like an NPC or I view every human as a computer. I'm not mad. I'm indifferent about every human that ever exists. I feel like the left one would be better. I'd rather just not be able to speak to humans at all because this, this would just be depressing. At least I would be able to talk to animals here and have some sort of like happiness, I guess. Would I rather pee out a golf ball or poop out a bowling ball? Wow. Okay. Well, I, in, in, in this scenario, I'm assuming that I'm not going to die from this and that it's just going to be extremely painful. I feel like peeing out a golf ball proportionally is worse. While peeing out a golf ball is much smaller than a bowling ball, I think the multiplied circumference of how much it would hurt to pee out a golf ball than a bowling ball. Like, peeing, peeing you're peeing like a very small strain. Now, trying to shove a golf ball out of that would be hell. Because peeing out a kidney stone the size of, like, a fucking pebble is horrible, let alone a golf ball. Whereas shitting out a bowling ball would be really bad, but I don't think it would be... Hello? No way I get fucking raided right when that happens. You're kidding me, dude. What the fuck, bro? Oh my god. Is my stream up? I'm checking. I appreciate the fucking raid. I'm sorry my fucking stream crashed there. What the fuck? All right. Well, we're back. Be able to ask for advice for any person or thing, fictional or non-fictional slash real life. So any character that has ever existed and any person that's ever existed. Or be able to pull abilities or intelligence from any show and use it in real life. It's a one-time use. Fucking one. I don't know why you guys are voting two. You can only use it one time. I can ask unlimited amounts of questions. I can, un I can ask an unlimited amount, not amounts, an unlimited amount of questions so I could gain intelligence. Yeah, I can't use superpower. Yeah, abilities. But I can only use that ability once? What's the ability that I'm going to use one time? Fucking one-shot use, dude? Fuck that. One. 
Use Rave Hairspray with 4X Mega Hold with all weather humidity protection. Or have the ability to summon crows to use as your feet. The crows are your feet and you can't fly with them. Use Rave Hairspray with 4X Mega Hold with all weather humidity protection. Have the ability to summon crows to use as your feet. But the crow I can't fly with them. And they're just my feet. One. That sucks. Using crows as my feet. Grow out your hair. Grow out your head like hair. Wait, grow teeth out of your head like hair. Or grow hair out of your mouth where your teeth are. That sucks. That's horrible. Growing hair. Both suck. But growing hair out of your mouth would be. You wouldn't be able to fucking talk. And you, it would be disgusting to eat food. P. Diddy for the three. Yep, that's going to be a ban. Not even going to read that chat. Growing teeth out of your head like hair or grow out, uh, teeth out of my head like hair, for sure. Be executed via bull of Pharaoh's, Phalaris, or be executed via the rack. I don't know what the bull of Phalaris is. I know the rack is when they just, when they strap you up and they like crank it and it pulls you off. But what is the phalaris? Oh, the hot bull? Oh my god. This. I would rather... I, the burning bull? I would rather be pulled to shreds than, than burn alive like that. That would be... That would be really brutal. I mean, being killed via the rack and getting my limbs pulled from my body wouldn't be nice, but I feel like I would rather do... That would be a quicker death. The Bull of Phalaris, dude, you're literally just tied in a steel bull that is set on... Like, basically set on fire. Live in a mountain cabin with no human contact or live in a big city studio apartment with no personal space. Mountain cabin, because I can go to society... And I can stay in society. Because I can still have Wi-Fi. Oh, no. Does no human contact mean no Wi-Fi? Like, am I unable to, like... Like, am I in a mountain cabin with, like, no TV? Okay, never mind. Big city. Have a mullet or go bald? Rather go bald. That's just so quick. That's such a quick answer. Fuck having a mullet. I would look so dumb with a mullet. I think if you have a mullet, you have to have curly or poofy hair. If I had a mullet, I would look fucking horrible. Fulfill your biggest wish or resolve your deepest regret. I mean, your biggest wish... See, here's the weird thing. If your biggest wish is resolving your deepest regret, then they're the same thing. But I like the idea of fulfilling my... I don't know. Fulfilling my biggest wish means that I'm not putting any effort into it, meaning I'm not going to feel any gratification from it. So there's no benefit. If I'm fulfilling my biggest wish, like the snap of a finger, I'm just immediately obtaining it with no journey on the, on, on the obtain. Who gives a fuck? Me. Because the whole purpose of life is striving towards goals and achieving those goals. If you earn $10, earning $10 feels way better than being given $10. So if your biggest wish is to, like, travel the world and you just immediately, boom, you've traveled the world, that fucking sucks. And that's my biggest wish is to be able to fucking travel and see life. So I feel like that would just suck because then I've just immediately done it. Have everybody perceive you as naked for two hours randomly once a week? Every time you buy hygiene or personal products, it's already used. Immediately perceive people, perceive, have people perceive me as naked. Every time I buy a hygiene product, it's already used. So if I use toilet paper... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Work around. Work around. Work around. Work around. Work around. Every time you buy hygiene or personal products, I pay someone to buy personal products for me. But if it's like any time I use it, it's already used, that's fucking disgusting. Because then I'm using used toilet paper. And I'd rather, I'd rather be perceived as naked than use used toilet paper. That would be disgusting. I'm going to go this one, though, because I have the workaround. Actually, no. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like they meant every time I used use a personal hygiene product, it's already used. So I'll go there. I'd rather quit gambling. I like I feel like that's just 
I feel like that's an immediate I'd quit gambling. I just love weed, dude. Like, I'm not even trying to sound like a fucking stoner here. Like, I would just... Oh, my God. Gambling... Gambling has, like... I know weed has downsides in that, like, I'll die younger. But, like, gambling is just, like... Oh, my God, dude. When you lose gambling, it just fucking sucks. And I, the amount of joy I obtain from weed is more than gambling. This is the first 50-50 one we've had. If you quit gambling, then you're a quitter. Yeah, dude. I might hit that next big win soon. I might be on that next big win. Bro's an addict. Yeah, no, I'd rather quit gambling. For sure. I was asked this I I told you guys this question. Have sexual intercourse with a goat and nobody knows or don't have a sexual intercourse with a goat but everybody thinks you did. Bro, I'm fucking the goat. I'm fucking the goat, okay? And and in chat, chat, having se having sex with a goat one time is going to be fucking traumatic. Look, but he, okay, see, 82%. Everyone thinking you fucked a goat is like, is like worse than anything, dude. Like, that's worse than so, bro. Somebody thinking you're a murderer is probably, is probably going to be less judgmental than somebody thinking you fucked a goat. Like, if somebody's like, oh, you killed someone. That there's no proof though, but everybody's gonna think you did it, which is as bad. That's why people like sue people for fucking uh defamation because it's like it, defamation is like you you're you're making people think something of you that hasn't been proven. But like that's this. <laughs> but everybody thinks you fucked a goat. It's so much worse. Have bumps all over your skin in different sizes. When the sun touches any part of the bump. You immediately, you instantly become slimy, sweaty, and green liquid starts to flow out of your fingertips. Then your body starts to transform into the oldest geriatric purple frog, or be British. I have bumps all over my skin in different sizes. In the sun touches any part of the bump, I instantly become slimy, sweaty, and green liquid starts to flow out of my fingertips. And then your body starts to transform into the oldest geriatric purple frog, or be British. Okay. Um, constantly feel like you're being watched to the point it interferes with your daily life, but nobody is watching you, but you don't know this. Or constantly be watched, but you have no idea, and you just live normally without knowing you're being watched. Think I'm being watched, and it ruins my life, but I'm not actually being watched. Or be watched, and just never know that I'm being watched. Uh, well, the government's watching you at all times, so I'm going to go with the right one. Uh, take a bite out of a live rat. The bite must go completely through the rat's flesh and skin, and it must kill the rat. Or eat a plate of cooked human flesh. You are aware that it is human meat. Was the did, is the human meat that I'm eating being consensually eaten? Like, is it an old person that just died, and they're like, "I'm gonna be, uh, you can eat me instead of taking a bite out of a rat." That's pretty fucking disgusting. Like in that scenario, probably the right one. Take a bite out of a live rat and it has to go through their flesh and skin. Chat, you know how hard you would have... You know how bad that would be? Like, I feel like I could stomach eating cooked human rather than grabbing a squirming rat and just bite its body in half. If I did this, I would do a bunch of bath salts. I would do... Oh my god. I would do a fucking... Oh, I would, I would get so fucked up. You like, I wouldn't even know where I am. And I'd just be like, hand me the rat. And I'd just bite its head off. So I, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't remember it and then it wouldn't affect me. I don't have to eat the rat in this. I just have to bite it. But how, in a whole plate? Fuck, dude. I'll go the human meat. Forget everybody, forget yourself. Forget everybody or forget myself. Wow, both are bad. I mean, at times, I feel like I'm not even me. You know, like when you're interacting with somebody, you're just kind of like an observer. So it doesn't really matter. Like you would still have your personality traits. You just re wouldn't remember who you are. So you would still have an ex experience. But who are you if you can't remember yourself having that experience? Forget myself. Because I can relearn myself. I can relearn myself. Relearning other people would be much worse. Pry off your thumbnail with a fork or put a toothpick under your big toenail and kick a wall. Probably kick a fucking wall. Prying off my thumbnail with a fork would be 
a long process. This would be quick, and it would hurt, but it it probably it would pro I would be able to get over it. Have the power to run up to thirty miles per hour, but you have to hold the Naruto pose every time you want to run that fast. You can locate any thrown out or dropped money under twenty dollars in a one mile radius of your current living area. That seems so much better. Because you could get really rich from that. Locate any thrown out or dropped money under $20 in a one mile radius of your current living area. That could be your job. But conversely, if I'm able to run 30 miles an hour whenever I want, I'm the fastest man alive. And I would then be able to enter competitions and win. And I would make more money and it would be more fun. So I'm going to go Naruto. Would you rather change sexes when you sneeze or not know the difference between a baby and a muffin? Okay, well, this would prove detrimental uh, in that you might be a cannibal. Uh, and this actually seems kind of fun. <laughs> and, and this seems pretty lit. I don't really see a downside in uh, me changing sexes when I sneeze. I think that would be pretty fucking dope. Uh, and then whenever I feel like it, I could just insta-swap and just, like, you know, like, shine a light in my eyes or, like, rub pollen under my nose. And I could stop a sneeze. Yeah. I could just I could just halt that bitch. Be the person who flips the switch during executions or be the judge who decides who should be executed. Flip the switch. Flip the switch instantly. You're you are the killer, but you're not the f you're not the you're the primary executioner because you're the one that's killing them, but you're not the one that's deciding that they've been killed, right? It's set, it's determining their fate. Their fate's been sealed. You're just you're just playing out that fate, right? Which is less bad. Eat two huge hairy tarantulas in one sitting. You have to eat them alive. Eat a one-chip challenge again, but without any milk or any soda, stomach, slash mouth calming substance. The one-chip challenge was really bad. And I think if I... I've done it twice. And I think if I did it again, what, my mouth is watering from it. Because it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. But then it gets really fucking bad. I need to drink water. Holy shit. It gets really bad. But eating two huge hairy tarantulas alive is probably worse. I would pass out if I did it again. Without, if I did it again and I have like milk and uh, and ice cream and water, I think I'd be okay. Like the last times, it would just be pretty brutal. I would definitely pass out doing this, but I feel like I'd rather do this than eating a live tarantulas. Eternally drift through space without having the ability to die or pass out, and you are infinitely drifting through space, or repeat the same time loop, or the same loop of life for eternity with everything happening at the same moment and same time as your previous life. So I live the same life over and over again, kind of unknown whether or not I have the knowledge of that, or eternally drift through space without having the ability to die or pass out, and you're infinitely drifting. That is so much worse. That is so much worse. Live in a bag of milk or have skin made of denim. Fuck. Um, skin made of denim. They're both bad, though. B, give it a red button that when you press it, it gives you a million dollars. And you can press it as many times as you want, but a random person in the world dies. We, this is actually a fucking hypothetical scenario that's already been played out. Uh, we talked about this on stream. I can press a million dollar button and, and somebody dies and there's a 0.0001% chance that it might be me. So there's actually a higher chance that it's me than the world population. So I can press it, somebody dies, and there's an increased chance that it's me more so than just the percentage chance that it's somebody, that it's me out of the world population. Or... Be given a blue button that when you press it, it gives you $10,000. You can press it as many times as you want, but a random person either gets $1,000 given to them or $10,000 taken from them. 50-50 chance for either. This is what you're killing people in this. This I'm putting people in financial struggle, but I could also help them and I'm also profiting myself. Did floating, did floating put this one in? Be stuck in the last game you played. Be stuck in the last move slash TV show you watched. What was the last game I played? Was it the clicker game? What was the last game I played? 
Oh, is the AI. Death by AI. That doesn't really count. The clicker game is the real game I was in. Because you can't be in Death by AI. The clicker game was the last game I was in. And that is a guy basically paying me to click a button and be sexually aroused by it. And then he kills himself in the end. That's really bad. Be stuck in the last movie or TV show I watched. The last TV show I watched, last movie or TV, the last thing I watched was Jeremy Clarkson's Clarkson's Farm. And so I would just have to live on a farm. Uh, yeah, be stuck in the last movie or TV show. <sighs> be in the hills or answer Freak Bob's call. Answer Freak Bob. Would you rather have loved and lost or never loved at all? Never loved at all. Because then I would have, I, 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 then I would never feel, I'd be indifferent about it. If I have loved and lost and never loved again in this scenario, then I know what it was like and now I lack it. But this is just the null. There was nothing. Erase your worst memory or relive your best one. Ooh. Here's the thing is if I erase my worst memory, am I staying me? Because every memory you ever have makes you you. And the worst things you've been through in your life are what change you usually for the better. If I maintain myself, I would probably... Uh, I don't know. I feel like reliving my best memory would be better. I'm going to go that. Raw dog, a 12-hour flight in the middle seat with a baby who cries and screams the entire flight to your right and a person to your left who reeks of terrible smell that your nose won't get used to. I raw dog most of the flights that I go on. Maybe with a little bit of music, but outside of that, I just stare. Do the one chip challenge once a day for a whole week. No milk or ice cream is allowed, only water. The chip will be as bad as the first time you ate it and you won't get accustomed to the spice. Surely raw dogging a flight. So I have to endure 12 hours of a baby crying and screaming and a person to my left who smells horrible. Or I have to do the one chip challenge seven times, which is probably going to equate to 12 hours of pain. And I get no milk or ice cream. One. The, the fucking, the, the raw dog the flight. Definitely. Definitely raw dog the flight. Be in bird box or be in quiet place? What is quiet place? I know bird box. When New York City comes under attack from an alien invasion, a woman and other sur survivors try to find a way to safety. They soon learn they must remain absolutely silent as the mysterious creatures are drawn to the slightest sound. And then bird box is when you look at them. So I'm basically in The Last of Us with clickers, or I have to be blind to be okay. What is bird box? Uh, if you look at it, you die, or I have to be really quiet or they kill me. It's worse than Clickers. I gotta watch that movie. I'm literally writing that down now because I want to fucking see that now. <sighs> I feel like being in the quiet place is still better though. Achieve immortality and witness the evolution of humanity. Live a finite life that significantly impacts the world for the better. Can I kill myself at the end of this? Or if shit, or if shit hits the fan? That's always, that's always like a, a, a loop of immortality. Because if I can physically never die, I will exist when the universe does not. And the universe will end one day. And that's horrible. If I could witness this and then just die and also help, but I'm going to go here. Just because I'm assuming I wouldn't be able to die. Bet a billion dollars on black, just get 10 grand. <laughs> you are fucking insane, chat. 80% 80, 80 of you guys, I'm not trying to promote gambling. But holy fucking shit, chat. 10 grand might help you in your life, and it definitely would be a good up. But if you put a billion dollars on black, you might walk out with nothing, or you might walk out with $2 billion. So you have a basically like a 48% chance of getting $2 billion or nothing, or you just get 10 grand. A billion dollars on black. Watch the entirety of Skibbity Toilet on stream. Finish Red Dead Redemption 2 on stream. Probably finish Red Dead, dude. Watching Skibbity Toilet would be horrible. Finish Red Dead. Because there, it, I would at least in, have some enjoyment. Live in a life of complete truth but never experience joy. Or live a life filled with blissful ignorance but always feel fulfilled. Complete truth. I don't like the idea of blissful ignorance. I, I don't know. I, I do get jealous of people that sometimes don't think about life or death or anything. And they're always just fucking, you know, living in their own world. But I would rather have philosophical thought and feel dread from it and existential dread and feel those those horrible feelings 
and have that knowledge than not even have them to begin with. Have the ability to see the entire multiverse and understand all possible realities but be confined to a single unchangeable life path. Have the freedom to make any choice in your life but be forever ignorant of the broader multiverse. I, I know having the unchangeable path might be... Either way, I'm living the same life, right? Either way, I'm living the same life. Because the choices that I... Yes, if I see the multiverse in my own life, I can't change it. But that would have been the outcome that I would have done if I had chose the other option, right? Because the other option is just me wi living freely, but I'm just going to live a, a predetermined already set thing in the universe where it's like yeah it's undetermined it's the future it hasn't happened yet but at the end of the day i'm gonna make the choices that i would have made on the other end as well i would just know what the uh, what the multiverse is like and yes i might feel jealous of the other people's lives like in everything everywhere all at once but it would be lit to know about that possess absolute free will but be incapable of forming meaningful connections with others have a predestined life that allows for deep genuine connections but they're not genuine deep connections if it's predestined if it's already made to happen, then it's not, a, it's not a genuine connection because a connection is free will on both ends. That's a horrible choice, and that's a paradox. That physically can't happen. So this one. Be able to transcend human ex existence and experience a higher plane of reality but lose all human memories and emotions or remain fully human with all accompanying struggles and joys unable to access higher consciousness. Transcend. Have the wisdom to solve any philosophical dilemma but be unable to apply this wisdom to practical everyday life. Have practical intelligence that leads to a successful life, but leave philosophically questions unanswered. I'd rather know philosophical shit. Being able to know the truth of the universe and being able to do nothing with it is still more meaningful to me than having practical knowledge. I'm going to go here. Have fingers that glow in the dark but can't be turned off, or toes that wiggle constantly but never get tired. Fingers that glow in the dark but never get turned off. Toes that wiggle but never get tired. Fingers that glow in the dark. That would also be sick. One million beers or a billion beers? One million beers. If your child was switched at birth, but only but you only found out one year later, would you want to switch back? Wait. If your child was switched at birth, but you found out one year later, would you want to switch back with your genetic child or keep the one you carried or cared for? One year later, I'm switching. One year later, I'm switching. I don't know them. Switch back and then just switch with the other family because that's my kid. Right. And I know at the end of the day, it's like, OK, you're raising a human and a human's a human. But one year in, it, they haven't really had any monumental life changes. If this was 10 years in, whole different story. Right. Where they have a personality. They've lived life. They have life experience. They know you. They've lived with you. They see you as their father. Right. Different. If you if you have a kid for a year. And you find out they're not your child and you could just switch with that parent that has your actual child. I'm switching. But if I have a 10 year old son that has a full personality and life goals and I know him and I, I've shared memories and I've helped them out and done things outside of just clean their diaper and feed them, then it's a way harder switch. Be really good at lying to the point no one ever knew you lied or be able to detect whatever somebody else was lying. Ooh. Okay, this is going to sound like a gambling addict thing to say, but this would be really good in poker. You would be a pro poker player. You would never lose. If you were able to do, if you were able to detect, if you were able to detect when somebody else was lying, that would be so much better. Because then you would be able to use it, you'd be able to use it just in general, and that would be so fire for, like, money. You have a job now. This is just like, okay, you can lie, and nobody knows. It's like, that's just prompting you to be a bad person. <laughs> would you rather have a child made of pee or pee made of a child? A child made of pee or pee made of a child? So I pee, chil I pee children or I have a child that is actually piss. Like I'm peeing the bones and like dismembered body parts. Get hit by an avalanche or a tsunami. I feel like I'd better be able to prepare for a tsunami. Always have to eat food that one temperature. Always have to eat food that's one temperature too hot and doesn't cool down. Or one temperature too cold and you can't heat it up. Too hot. Too hot food's better. Would you rather have to sing everything you say or dance everywhere you go dance everywhere i go 
Live in a world where everybody speaks their mind honestly, but without tact. Or a world where everybody is polite, but never truly honest. Speaks their mind. Eat an entire bowl of sour cream with no water. Eat an entire bowl of mayonnaise with no water. And I think if everybody spoke honestly, and they were just like emotionless, it would be rough at first, but then you would actually be able to get shit done. Because people would be able to like reason and find middle ground without like lying. Eat an entire bowl of sour cream with no water. Eat an entire bowl of mayonnaise without water. Mayo. Nonchalant dreadhead, but your dreads always get stuck in everything. Am I really a nonchalant dreadhead then? Or a six foot five feminist, but you cry every time you think about how women have to suffer through periods. I cry every time I think about periods. Oh my god, you'd seem such like such a loser. Nonchalant dreadhead. Be executed via. Bo we just did this one. Oh, are we? I think. I think we reached the end. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, that was a dub. You know, should we do that again in the future? I thought that was fun. I'm definitely down to do that again in the future. That shit was fucking amazing. And Brady already has that shit set up. We would just have to do another poll for it. We could do it. We'll definitely do another one. I might do another one uh, one day with um, hypotheticals. Because I think hypothetical scenarios would be really fun too. Uh, where it's like, you just give me, not even like a would you rather, but like just like a paragraph, kind of like a story and being like a what would you do type of hypothetical. But yeah. All right. We're going to call that there, chat. I know it's a little bit of a short stream, but I said we were going to be doing a three and a half, uh, and that was almost perfect. Time.